Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today we are checking out a city of tweak called attachments plus for mail Now this is a new city of tweak that will allow you to manage mail attachments like never before That's what it says right there It allows you to save and open attachments of all types and attach files right from the mail app And you can also attach photos and videos just kind of like you would in iOS 6 right from the mail app as well So let's go ahead and check this out here real quick one thing that it does note is that some mail servers such as Gmail via Exchange ActiveSync will not completely support these inline attachments that uh, this tweak allows. So check with uh, you know your email server, test things out. It may work with some, it may not. I found it to be pretty reliable, so let's go ahead and check it out. Just gonna back out to the home screen here and open up a new message that I already have waiting for us right here. So as you can see, this is the message and you can you know type whatever you want, hey, blah, blah, blah. And if you tap on the screen lightly like that, you'll get the select, select all, and paste menu. Then you have the little arrow here. If you tap on the little arrow, we will see the attachment button and the camera button. So if we tap on the camera right here, it'll open up our camera roll and we can go browse through our photos here and select the photo and attach it just like that. Tap on done, there you go, photo is in the email. So that's something that you actually normally don't have in iOS 5. Then also we do have the special functionality here which is to be able to attach regular files from your iPhone's file system. So if we tap on that little green button right there, you'll see that we have kind of an iFile type looking interface here pull up where we can actually create a new folder, we can refresh the current folder, and we have bookmarks here. But if we navigate and drill into some of these folders here, you can see that we can kind of just go through the entire file system. But let's go find a recording that I made down here. And at the bottom here, we see, okay, December 4th. Now, if you tap and press on these items, you'll get a little list here, cut, copy, view, open in. And so we can view it to preview uh, what we're sending here. And Hello. Testing. Hello. So as you heard there, that's just a little test message I sent. Now what we can also do is tap on this edit button and select a file and then tap on the menu button down here and we can actually zip it up into an archive, cut, copy, or delete it. Let's tap on zip here and create a new zip file. So as you can see, we created the zip file up here at the top and then we can go ahead and just tap on that to select it and insert it into the message just like that. It's pretty simple and it works very well, honestly. So we're sending this to Dom at App Advice from my Mac Mixing email address here. And let's go ahead and send it. And empty subject, well, who cares? We'll send it off, go to our mailboxes here, and you can see here that we have this little attachment. And we can download it, we can save it, we can open an iFile, let's go ahead and save it. It'll ask us where we want to save it at, and let's just choose right here. But we can also attach files without compressing them in a zip format here. So let's go ahead and go back in here. We'll find this recording right here. And so there you go. You see we just attached it just like that. Let's go ahead and send it to myself. All right, send. And we'll just go ahead and back out to the home screen here. So we got that new message. Now we can go ahead and open this up and play it just like that. So it's a pretty great way to be able to send file attachments uh, via the mail app. I think it was done very well. So you guys, you can pick up attachments plus for mail in the Big Boss repo for $1.99. It requires iOS 5 and it's got all these cool features here. And like I said before, it does not work on some mail servers and there are absolutely no options to configure in the settings. Go ahead and check it out. Let me know what you think down below. Thanks again for watching everybody. This is Dom and have a great day.